Today, we shall see victory! A great new altar fights at our side! The anomaly should have killed us. But instead, it left us something more. Altered and Outrider. Only we can lead them to a future. Whatever we were before, we're something new now. We were given a second life. We can't waste it.
Floor is common. You are clear to begin descent to surface. Copy. Disengaging. Initiating auxiliary thrusters. Command, we are 20 seconds to atmosphere breach. Initiate burn. Rotate on break. Primary ignition, set to 30%. Rotating. We are engine first. Altitude 20,000 feet and falling. Hold on. We are getting interference. Switch to high gain antenna. Command, confirm signal strength. You're looking great, good one. Go for landing. Engines off. Pod one has landed. Almost looks like home. That's what worries me. Well, boss, you're ready. Got my truck. And when snipers at three and six, multiple defense lines and an operating base established within the hour, move! Goodman? A word. You know the stakes of this mission. Flores is already half dismantled. Our engine's on its way down to power a city of half a million. Now, if these outrider bozos hit pay dirt, you report to me first. Sir, I'm only here to enter a proper procedure this fall. We're not on Earth, Shearer. There is no proper procedure. Listen up, outriders. I know what you're all thinking. There's no going home. And no one has a clue what's waiting for us out there. But the ECA pencil heads can't green like this land until we find their missing probes. So let's do our job! Don't need to see you get eaten on day one. Relax, Outrider. You don't know me yet. Cap, I wouldn't be here without you. I'd be buried in the ashes back home. <laughs> All right. Let's move out. Stay sharp. Watch our sixes. <sighs> Would you smell that air? I can't even process breathing air that doesn't smell like a burnt carburetor. I didn't mind the air back on Earth. I was used to it. <laughs> Trust me, you'll get used to fresh air too. Truth is, none of us should even have gotten off Earth. Survivor's guilt. Do you think any one of us isn't feeling it? It's not just that. If the Caraval's engine hadn't exploded back on Earth and killed most of the real Outriders with it, there wouldn't be a bunch of mercenaries down here in their place. I hired you because you don't let anything get in your way. camp here. Outrider, set a beacon flag. Let HQ know the area is secure.
All right, people. We got jobs to do. Cuthbert, Scarstead, set up a perimeter. I want fortifications going up within the hour. Jakob, you're field testing the munitions. Gutman, get your scanner up and running so we can find those damn probes. Outrider, a word. Hey. No matter what happens out here, I need my best gun on this in case things go south. Can I depend on you? Just tell me what to do, Cap. My weapons haven't been fired in nearly a century. Why don't you head over to Jakob and get your gear checked, and then be prepared to move out as soon as those probes are located. Any questions? No word from Earth, I assume? It's really gone? She went dark 15 years into our journey. More or less as predicted. ACA's confirmed no communication since. Oh, shit. You know, I, uh, grew up a slum dog, fighting for scraps. Lost everyone, really, long before the end. Doomsday just wasn't a thing I worried about. Hell, I wasn't gonna live past 20 anyway. Somehow, <laughs> I was one of the ones who made it. Don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. If things go right, time's coming, you're gonna have to leave all that behind. This is a new beginning. You could have a family here, build a cabin, grow old and get fat. Yeah, that's not me, Cap. No my way around bullets, not kids. There's gonna be no need for someone like me here. Maybe the old you, Outrider. But you're one of the chosen few. You get to build the future. Don't waste it. Did any more of your people make it off Earth, Cap? My brother. Almost. But no. They got him in cryo as we evacuated L.A. Hoping we could stop the bleeding. Ah, he was too far gone. Oh, shit. Sorry to hear that. I haven't had the time to think about it. What about Sarah? She's good, right? Yeah. My Sarah's up there. They don't wake her group for another six months, but I can wait. I'm, uh... I didn't have a chance to tell you this in all the madness, but... My little girl's pregnant. That's how I got her the seat. <laughs> it's a two-for-one special, huh? So that's why you've been in such a good mood since they unfroze your ass. Don't push it out, right? 
Yes, sir, granddad, sir. I'll go find Jakob's shooting range. Good. We're on standby for those probes, so stay on alert. What's on your mind, boss? I know that look you get. That last day got really hairy. I wasn't sure if any of us were gonna make it. We cut it pretty close. You can't stop thinking about it either. I know. It's insane. It was 80 years ago. Yeah, feels like days. My knuckles are still sore, my ears still ringing from all the gunfire. I mean, there were thousands of them, all climbing over each other, slaughtering everyone in their way, and tried to pull down the launch tower to bash in the doors of our shuttles. I've been in a lot of war zones, but that was fucking anarchy. Look, it was either us getting off the planet or them, but we just did what we had to do. We do what we have to do. We look out for each other. Hell, we better. Other than the Captain Cuspert, you're the only person left alive I know. I'm the only person left alive worth knowing. <laughs> I'm glad you made it on board, you old bastard. Me too. Make of this place, Jakob? It's perfect. Beautiful. How long you want to bet before we bury it all under concrete and plastic? Oh, come on. You can't still be that cynical. Just look at this valley. I don't know, boss. Maybe we all just got too much riding on this. We already have one dead planet in the rear view. If we screw this one up, too, it. Maybe we won't. Sure. Maybe this is really it. Maybe. We can finally stop sleeping with our guns under our pillows, stop worrying about food every goddamn day. Believe me, boss. I want this to work. You have no idea. But, huh? People don't change. Still got your money on black, huh? The house always wins. Time to test my gear. Uh, up for some target practice, boss. Let's get started. Ooh, fancy stuff. Yeah, a new toy. You're the first one to test it out, boss. Just like riding a bike. Give that sidearm a try, eh? Damn. Somehow 80 years has improved your aim. All right. 
You can stop showing off. ECA rep. See if Shear has found any probes yet. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. I wish you could have seen this, Dad. Hey, you're Shira, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Can you believe this landscape? It's so beautiful. Now, if only we had an internet to post those to. It's for a scientific record. <laughs> Besides, we'll have the internet up and running in the first six months. The entire thing was backed up. I'm just pulling your leg, Shira. Any luck with the probe? The scan's still running. I don't know what else I can do, it's just... How can the probe signals have simply vanished? Yeah, they said it was some kind of interference or something? Ah, from space, maybe, but not from down here. Still, seems initial readings were right. We're breathing. Yes, but before the ECA can authorize half a million more people coming here, we need the probe's data to know we can support them. And if we can't, what's the ECA's plan B? Do you have any questions I could answer, to? How is this colonization gonna work? You're in the planning rooms, right? Yes. We've already started disassembling the engine. We need to bring that down first. The nuclear core should give us enough power to get the colony up and running. And when do the civilian pods start coming down? Within a few weeks, if all goes well. First, just enough people and resources to get our infrastructure running. You know, water, food, and shelter. Then we'll keep waking folks from cryo, a few thousand at a time, no more than we can feed. Until before you know it, you'll be standing in the middle of a city. And meanwhile, the flora stays up there? The ship was built in orbit. It was never meant to land. We'll have to keep it in our skies until we're capable of space flight again. One day, maybe. All right, tell me the truth. You think the ECAs thought this whole plan through? Well, my father was part of the team that designed the plan. My entire life he helped prepare for this day. 
the greatest undertaking of human history. Oh, so that's how you got on the ship, huh? Daddy smoothed your way? No. I studied engineering. Spent years in orbit. Designed structure, drilling rivets into the hull. I helped build that ship. So you earned your way on. Good for you. It was my father. Just not like the way you thought. He gave up his place for me. He stayed behind. Shit, I'm, uh... Sorry. He would have been in awe of this place. But in the end, it's just me. It's strange not knowing anyone here. When this is over, come hang out with us. We're not such a bad bunch. I might take you up on that. Hey, is that supposed to blink that way? Oh, 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 that's a probe. Tanner, I think we got a signal. It's close. Excellent work, Outrider. Now go locate the damn thing so we can land this beauty. Copy that. Hey, it's an historic moment. We should document it. For the scientific record, huh? those cow things is sunning itself right on my path. Hey, maybe you can get close enough to get a DNA sample. Not exactly our priority, but if I can get close without spooking it, I'll try. Nah, scared it off. But I've secured the objective. Fantastic! Got some kind of storm brewing. Probe. Looks like it landed pretty hard, but the data seems intact. Copy that. Transmitting to HQ now. Good work, Outrider. Hold on. Tanner? I'm picking up a second signal, but something's weird about this one. Weird? The pitch is rising and falling? It's supposed to be a steady tone. Outrider Alpha to HQ. Hold off on calling in that green light. We got another probe out here to analyze. Negative, Alpha. Your job is done. Damn it. Maxwell, listen to me. We can't afford to make mistakes. Give us time. Any more time and we lose our orbital window. We have the data. I'm calling it in. You want to keep searching? Don't blame me if you find trouble. Over and out. <sighs> All right, now, riders. Rendezvous back with the convoy. Let's go find that stray.
Hey, Cuthbert, any updates? The probe signal is mostly noise, but I've tracked its source. There. Hope you all brought your galoshes. Ooh. Jakob. Mm. Same shit, different planet. Ochevishcha. <laughs> Electronics are freezing up. Trucks are down. We continue on foot. Soldier, your primary focus is Shira. Understand? We keep moving. Eyes up. Choke on your own spit, dude. It's nothing, I'm good. Jesus. Oh, oh, back to the ship! Oh, Alert the medics! What's going on? Stay back! Tanner, got eyes on the probe. I got movement, heading in. ECA HQ, we've encountered a potential biological hazard. Requesting quarantine procedure at base. Damn it, Tanner. I told you both there's not to go miss up this operation. It's my name on the line when it's landing, and you have no authority over me. Maxwell. Hey, boss, we lost you. I'm getting our straight probe. How's Scarstead? He looks like shit. Any idea what this black gunk is? Some kind of saprophyte or mycelium? Let's make collect samples. 